Do you know what Sarpy County has to offer? It's time for another Sarpy County Spotlight. This week, a top-notch regional festival with live music, fireworks, hot air balloons, a barbecue competition, and that's just for starters. From the Greater Bellevue Area Chamber of Commerce, Jim Risto. Good to see you, Jim. Welcome Good back. You. Thank you. We love yeah. having you here. Oh, yes, you got to be excited. Being here. excited for this year. There's no flooding. <laughs> no flooding. <laughs> this second year in a row with no flooding, right? Second nope. We always joke that the Chamber's got one responsibility. It's the weather. Uh -huh. So we'll crank up the heat a little bit, but right, it's going right. to be good. So. Yeah, no, you guys are really excited about for mm -hmm. this year, aren't you? Yes. There's a lot of stuff going on. Big. I mean, this is it's our 14th year. It seems like each year it gets bigger and bigger, and we find like new things to kind of thrill people as we go along. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty pumped. Take us through it, Riverfest 2015. What are some of the big attractions? Again, Friday night, the balloon glow. That's mm -hmm. always a favorite. So you have a we we'll have uh, competing teams. They like, like to call themselves pilots, but I think we'll have five balloons out. Mm -hmm. Beer garden, kids zone, something new that the. Um, Budweiser's bring it down as a brew house, so you can actually go through and watch the process of how they brew the oh, beer neat. and at the end get samples. You have to be wristbanded of to course. get in yeah, there, but right. yeah. that's going to be something new that we haven't seen before. Nice, and expanding your partnership with Budweiser. Yes. Uh, which is good to see. And you mentioned, of course, those hot air balloons. We saw the pictures, I think, for the kids to come and the magnitude of those balloons, the colors, that's really special for families. And then the fireworks, Jim. Saturday night fireworks, that's always, that is a huge attraction. You know, what we have is we have a lot of people come to the park throughout the day and the evening. Mm -hmm. And as the fireworks gets cranked up, I'm going to advise people come early because they're stacked up deep into Mission Avenue. And, mm -hmm. you know, we swell a couple thousand above what we have. So mm -hmm. come early so you can get your seat. But uh, J&M Displays does a fantastic job with that. Mm -hmm. I think I saw somewhere you have helicopter rides. Are you guys doing that this year? Helicopter rides both Friday and Saturday night. Are there Friday any night? spots left open? Because in my recollection, those things fly. It gets they booked up quick. and it's done. We don't pre-sell those. So they, it's come in as you go. So first come, first serve. Uh -huh. And... He's, he's got a full deck, so last year, I mean, he was up continuously. So it's, again, get over there, get in the line, get your ticket, and be ready to go. We've so. been talking food quite a bit on the show the last couple of days, and one of the things that you guys have is the, a barbecue championship, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Across the way from the park, we'll have over 40 competitors this year. So, again, the competitors are growing. And what's, you know, it's a KCBS-sanctioned contest, and they're pretty serious about what they do. So you have a wide variety of class that they'll, they'll compete for. But as you're smelling that barbecue cooking Friday night and Saturday throughout the day, we have probably about five vendors on the other side that serve barbecue. Mm -hmm. And I think we've got a couple of big, big guys that come in and do quite a good job with barbecue. So you can smell it and you can eat it. Uh, you just can't eat the competition food. But <laughs> the the right. trophy that's next to you, that's not for the barbecue competition. No, That's been, for something else. I've been teasing so. the car show guy that's running this for us. Uh -huh. I said, I think I just rewarded myself. But, uh, <laughs> this uh, thing is quite tall. It's a big guy. Jim. And this is, he's got, a, he's got another one that's a little bit bigger. I think it's the, the Riverfest competition one. I think it's six feet tall. Uh-huh. But uh, he's got over 500 cars coming in. We'll wow. award 81 well, trophies uh, on Saturday. So. Cars, trucks, motorcycles, a, a lot of different uh, yes. vehicles mm -hmm. in there. Harley Davidson will have a big display out there. And what's kind of neat with this is we have teams coming from Florida, Texas, Kansas. So mm -hmm. these guys take this pretty serious. So well, and that speaks to the caliber of the cars they're bringing in. Yes. Like gearheads love this. I feel like just nostalgia, Americana, like the, the motor industry sort of represents a lot of that for a lot of people. So it's yes. cool to just walk around and see what's available. Yep. You know, and what's kind of neat is that if, if you're not a car, car person, there's motorcycles, there's mm -hmm. trucks. He's going to have a huge monster truck out there, too. That's so, so cool. And it's got rat rods coming in. Uh -huh. it's, mm -hmm. uh, I listen to Dan talk about it, and I get all excited because when he starts talking about all the different cars coming yeah. in. Yeah. But, you know, it's the Mustang clubs, the Corvette clubs. You know, guests and, are going to love it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you could spend hours down there. So. Mm -hmm. Well, there's so many things to do. And then you have live music. So let's, yes. can we talk about the band lineups? Yep, Friday night we've got our two big bands, our Cheshire Grin and uh, Lemon Fresh Day, mm -hmm. which those two are, are, I would say, local favorites. Is this on the main stage? Is it's on the main stage. Main stage, okay. We'll start out, we've got a Blues Ed band from our local high school. We'll open up at 5.30 on, on Friday mm -hmm. night, go for an hour, and then once uh, we'll get the other two guys out. But Saturday, wow. then we roll over to... Uh, Throughout the day from You've noon got to about 5 12 and a half hours of live music. Yes. The music on is Saturday. Fri Friday and Saturday. Friday right? and Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, noon to 6 30, a lot of bands, we couldn't fit it all on a graphic. And may I tell you, from 7 until 10 o'clock, two of my favorites, and to have them on one stage at the same time, well, they put on together. a heck of a show. And yes. they're so much fun. They're buddies in real life. And musically, they're both extremely talented. So, yes. when they get together, for the same show, a lot Billy of and Jimmy are great. Yeah, yeah. We're looking forward to it because last year Billy was going to come down with Jimmy, 
and then he couldn't make it. But we were we couldn't promote it. But he did show up, and it, but he didn't play. So this year we're uh -huh. pumped that the two of them are going to be there. Yeah, uh, that's big time for us to have those two. Hey, they were on our show together. I mean, they've been yep. on our show many times, not together though. They've been on our show uh, together once. Mm -hmm. I think they did Blackbird. I think well, I, I saw them in a concert together, and I just thought you two should do this more often. So yes. I'm glad to see you've got them for Riverfest. Was it last year? I think they were at Turner Park together. Yeah, and then I saw mm -hmm. them. I think it was an American Cancer Society fundraiser. It, Point is. I can't recommend that show highly enough, well, so please go and then go all to the, the bands website. Are good, yeah. yep. uh, what, what can we recommend for people that are coming, maybe have never been, uh, what can they bring to Riverfest uh, specifically? Can they bring chairs? Mm -hmm. uh, what can they bring? We tell them bring chairs and blankets. Uh, there, there's picnic tables out there, but you know, there's only so many, so yeah. if they want to sit and quick. listen to the music, spread out your blankets and put your chairs out there. There's a lot of room in front of the stage. Mm -hmm. It's a buck to get in. It helps us cover our bands. Kids under 12 are free. Uh, there is a charge for like the, the events in the kids zone and the like, but mm -hmm. uh, we encourage them. Uh, we have a lot of vendors out there. We will have a couple of our uh, um, nonprofits will be handing out cold water. Uh, mm -hmm. Nebraska Medicine has come down with misters, so anybody gets overheated, they can go into those misters. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's going to be a fun. Wear day. your sunscreen and have yes. a ball. Yes. Right? That's yes. Wear your sunscreen, have a ball. Tomorrow and Saturday, it's Riverfest 2015. Great to yeah. have you back, Jim. Thanks for having yeah, me. Good to see you. Have a great weekend. Got a couple t-shirts and some blankets oh, in there for you. Last so time you guys you gave uh, us those aprons, or maybe Mike got a tie. I mean, we had stuff with like the barbecue competitions and all over it. We're working on trying to like each year come up with something different for they, you. But the blankets, great. if you come down, you can at least spread your blankets oh, out. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim. It's good to see you. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Yep. Keep an eye out for our next Harpy County Spotlight, and look for more places to visit at GoSarpy.com. I'm realizing now this is why you brought this bag in, and then I was wondering it. Look what's in the bag, and then I never even asked. It says, it says Riverfest on it right there.